Hey, this is Art by Stacey, and as you can tell, I will be painting Muffin from the show Bluey. Ah! Cat's what is here! Cat's what is here! Cat's what? Stay tuned to see how I did this. So I already went ahead and started my design. I used gesso, and I used this heart shape from Michaels, and I already sketched my design. And I'll be using Angela's flat black acrylic and Hobby Lobby's acrylic white paint. So for this design, it's a lot of gray tones and I will be using Muffin's image to guide me into making my colors. And if you're wondering where I got my brushes, I would recommend going to Hobby Lobby because every two weeks they have a 40% off on their arts and craft and just art in general. So their brushes, their canvas, and their paints. Definitely check them out. So as you can tell, every outline is a different color. So if you want to be exactly like the image, you know, make sure you follow the colors that the outline of the image is showing. So for example, the eyes are black outline, around his head is like a darker gray, and then the whole body is like a lighter gray, but still in the dark tones. So definitely keep an eye on that when you're painting. And something I recommend is make sure you make enough of that color because if you go back for a second layer, you don't have to remake it. And you know, sometimes the color might be off, it might be a different color tone. So make sure you keep that in mind while mixing paint. So as you can tell, I am making my painting a bit different. I'm putting my own style to it. I'm putting some highlights to it and just some paintbrush texture, making it a little different and it makes the painting stand out. What do you guys think? As you can tell with the image guideline, it just shows like a solid black on the nose. But I'm going to add a little bit of gray tones and a little white in that nose just to give it that like shine and shadow, you know, effect. And oh my goodness, it's looking so cute. I'll be using this acrylic for the ears, but I do recommend you getting Deco Art acrylic paint just because it's way better. <laughs> I personally love Deco Art. I just didn't have it at the moment. With the body, I will be using white and just a hint of black just to give it that light gray look. Now I'll be using the end of the tip of my brush to add the dot on the eyes. And the image doesn't show that it has that, but I decided to add that just to give it more of a pop up. And oh my gosh, it's looking so nice and it's starting to look like it's coming to life. What do you guys think? Now for my background, I was thinking more of a purple tone, but I wanted to make it a little lighter. And by the way, this acrylic is from Hobby Lobby and the brand is Master Touch. I'll be mixing the color until I get the color that I'm looking for. And like always, I will make enough just in case I need to add a second layer. Gonna add my own style to it and add some highlights to my purple. Now to finish off my painting, I'll be painting on the side with a sponge because it paints it way neater and nicer compared to a brush. And here's my finishing touch. What do you guys think? Do you guys love this and how it came out? And for all my Bluey fans, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely follow my journey and like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And yes, this will be available on my Etsy account. And don't forget to watch my short video on how I did Bluey and Bingo. And I'll be listing all the supplies that I used in the link below. And I will also link my Etsy account, my social media, TikTok, and all that good stuff. So like always, guys, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe as a great reminder. Thank you guys again. Bye.